Do not list with us. Onward sales, Chattanooga Homes. Okay, Thanksgiving is right around the corner. Jenny Stripling just reminded me of that, in case you didn't know. <laughs> She's here with the Northside Neighborhood House, but really also benefiting the Stuffing Strut coming up Thanksgiving morning. Yes, Good to see you. Good to see you. This has been going on for a number of years now. It all does yes. go back to help the efforts north of the river. Absolutely. It is a sweet event. It started out of the Dallas Bay Church hmm. as a mission um, from their mission team. And they just saw a real need to help their neighbors living in North Hamilton County and started a walk on Thanksgiving morning. And it has now grown into our 12th annual stuffing strike. So you and I were chatting a little bit before we got on air. You're not a native of Chattanooga. Right. I'm not a native. I've been here 26 years, so I almost count. <laughs> Um, but there is such a groundswell of local community support here in Chattanooga, and it's been that way always. Yeah. And the great thing is it doesn't seem to go away. And You're it was right. that groundswell of support that began the Northside Neighborhood House. It, absolutely, absolutely. The way the neighbor, the way this community shows up to support their neighbors is amazing. Mm -hmm. It is one of those things that has just truly blown me away. Um, it comes at a good time this year. It is Thanksgiving morning, yeah. by the way, at Chester Frost Park. Right, that's where you meet. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, just takes about an hour and a half or two hours of your day. Yep. And off you go to eat your turkey. Exactly. You get that 5K in, you can have that extra slice of pie. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and a clean conscience and knowing that Absolutely. you have helped people. Because I'm sure, Jenny, that y'all are getting all types of requests oh, from people. This has been a hard goodness. year financially. It has been a very hard year. We were looking at our, our income budget the other day. I mean, and the number of requests for rent and mortgage support is like far outpacing our budget. You know, we're not gonna turn people away. Mm -hmm. So, you know, events like this are really important to help us be able to continue to fund. But what's wonderful about the Stuffing Strut is it not only supports the Northside Neighborhood House and our efforts, but the Saudi Daisy Food Bank who mm -hmm. are ensuring that people have food on their table. Which, I mean, the headline can't be there enough yeah. and it's not gonna go away, I'm sure, anytime yeah. soon about the cost of groceries going uh, up absolutely. and Absolutely. And the choices absolutely. people have to make. Absolutely. I have to make a tough choice every day. I think it's important to point out too that yes, you're there with the kind word and the help when people mm -hmm. come to request, but the help for y'all at the Northside Neighborhood House is more than just the assistance. You want to rebuild these people Absolutely. up. Absolutely. We're going to stand, we're going to walk hand in hand with the folks that we're serving. We're there to help them. I mean, from the moment of that very first um, meeting, we're sitting down and looking at a budget and helping them figure out how can you manage on what you make mm -hmm. and how can we identify other resources to help you you know, get over the hump. I know you do an awful lot with families. We, um, we talk about that a lot yeah. and you have like, um, obviously the utility assistance, but you help we with do. kids and their education, we do. tutoring and that kind of thing. Yeah. But are you seeing an increase with older people needing help? Oh, that is a great question. Um, it's just in, it, it's really all over it's the everybody. board. It's everybody. We see a lot of young families, mm -hmm. a lot of young families going through a divorce and faced finally, you know, with one income versus two. Mm -hmm. um, and these are all people who are working, working individuals. So with the stuffing strut, uh, I know you have a website. We do. do you want people to register early and that way they get a shirt? Absolutely. Absolutely. So if they'll go to nnhouse.org backslash events, there'll be a link on there that will take you to the stuffing strut and you can register. It's $30 to participate. Um, it does give you a shirt and a great time. Um, it is so much fun. Families show up in their turkey outfits, you know, mm -hmm. hats and shirts and just it's just a lot of fun and animals are welcome oh that's bring your dog right. yeah you can bring, bring your, your dog, dog. Yeah. so and if you want to run it you can run it absolutely if you want to it is it, hilly it is hilly i mean that's the one feedback we get every year it's like there are so many hills it's like well can't get rid of the hills at chester frost park but i think too <laughs> i'm looking at these pictures from previous years and all the leaves they are gathered on oh, the beautiful on the walk and so many of us are kind of sad that this fall has not been a lingering one yeah maybe the weather will cooperate and it'll be I a great so. day i hope so past several years and i hope i don't jinx myself but it has been beautiful weather yeah absolutely beautiful if people can't come out yeah. Um, they can still support you in lots of ways. We're cleaning out closets this time Absolutely. of year. Absolutely. Give to the thrift stores. Yes, yeah. In an H House thrift stores. Um, they are, they generate over half of our, nearly half of our operating income. Three locations now, Three right? locations and an online store as well. So, I didn't realize you had an online yeah, one. we've got an online store. It's called Good Neighbor, Good Neighbor Chat. 
How you does find that us work? on Instagram. Um, it's an eBay storefront, and we also sell on Poshmark and Macari. Um, wow. But it just allows us to have a broader audience. I will ask you this, since you're kind of a transplant too from yeah. Knoxville a few years ago. We got a lot of COVID people came, mm -hmm. and they don't know the background of all of our organizations in town, yeah. but I think it's interesting for people. How old is Northside Neighborhood We House? turned 100 years old this year. And it began from the efforts of a church, right? It did, yeah. It's Northside Prez, uh, some of the ladies that went to church there got together, they saw a need, and it started with um, families who were living on the riverbank um, along the Tennessee River, just in lean-tos and shanties, and they started asking, it's like, what do you need? And they needed bedding and they needed education for their children. So instead of going and collecting blankets that they could give to them, they taught them to quilt. So they mm. gave them a skill that they were able to then take care of themselves to carry forward and um, started a kindergarten program so that the kids were ready to go to school when, when they became of school age. And fast forward, we're still empowering people. We're teaching classes, uh, computer skills, cooking classes. We don't do quilting anymore, but. <laughs> but um, and then we're in the schools. I mean, um, working with those students to equip them with the skills they need to succeed in the school and then once they graduate. That was the story that I so wanted you to tell because yeah. I think it's a really beautiful one. And yeah. so you want to let that legacy continue. Yeah. And if all you have to do is lace up your shoes, grab your dog and go to Chester <laughs> Frost Park, that's pretty easy. It's the stuffing strut. Yeah. All goes to benefit the Northside Neighborhood House and the Saudi Daisy Food Bank. And uh, the Jim Wilson Fund at Saudi Daisy Middle School okay. and the Dallas Bay Volunteer Fire Department. That's right. You're the, yeah. you're with the tag, you're it girl. Yeah. <laughs> but you're representing everybody. Exactly. NNHouse.org backslash events, though, is how you will sign up to be a part of it. We're thankful for you, Jenny. And thank you. We appreciate it. Be a part of Local 3's 40th Share Your Christmas Food Drive. Stop by.